plan will you be able to finish and if not what help do you need as well as also what's your strategy so if you could update just on that that would be great so the eight hands rise martin okay uh i hope you can be able to hear me yeah we do yeah so uh yesterday uh, it has been quite a very busy day uh, because uh, there was uh, a lot to do uh, from my side and uh, there was a lot of actually been getting to learn concerning just uh, writing reports uh, writing reports i used to really look at it from a different perspective but uh at uh, the time that uh, we were able like that document it broke down everything in such a way that uh, you can be able to understand like why am i writing it and how this data is going to really help the person who is on the other end that is the customer so uh at maybe a challenge i faced uh yesterday was uh i really realized that uh, there is I'll, there was there were some figures i was getting which at first were not making a uh, sense to me and i uh, i was trying to figure out like what could be the issue or where where is it that i might have gone wrong because uh, like when doing scatter plots you find some certain scatter plots they don't really bring any information so i started doing more and more research until i came to uh, realize that understanding of the data is very key because just something like uh changing the column from bytes to megabytes uh, does a very huge has a very huge impact uh on uh, like uh, the way you are running the data and just the relationships that you're trying to make so uh there was much that i learned and uh i really hope that uh, i'll be able to complete everything in time and uh, get to submit it uh, also just something i'd like to mention in passing is that uh, there is also that uh, work life balance uh, because i remember the first time aaron trying to mention something he was saying that uh, when what what this entire thing is really trying to do is trying to get you to get into a system like to have a systematic way of doing things so because it will be running for like 12 weeks you want to do uh you have to figure out a way that uh, you can be able to do this thing consistently for 12 weeks so i learned that yesterday i was doing a lot of work and uh, i didn't even get an opportunity just to like uh, relax and just uh, do some few things here and there so uh wh what i tried to do was also just on the work life balance issue is uh, also learning how to uh, create a timetable just that's something i'd mention just to everybody just uh, create a timetable like uh, maybe between this and this time and also between that inside the timetable you can go even in, in into detail and say like uh, be, be, by this time i should have done this and by that time i should have done this uh, and also if you don't really meet uh, whatever you are going through your timetable i uh, just give it time uh, to come to succeed yeah that's that's all from my side uh, thank you for the opportunity uh, at Chebabel again. Great. Thank you, Martin. I think a good point you raised, it's about the data understanding and it's about, you know, of course, developing a certain type, type of intuition uh, on what kind of information. Like, just like, you know, whenever you do something that you got used to, you have built certain intuition that would basically guide you in kind of the direction, you know, like to correct or to identify very quickly and this is just that exercise so definitely true um and planning is essential and you let you know i keep repeating it without a strategy and plan the tasks we give you are not finishable not only finishable we are expecting actually some people over time to get used to planning and kind of uh, doing things accordingly that they would actually do more than we ask right sometimes because you you are gonna build on top of each other you're gonna be sensitive to things that like for example as as um, martin said sometimes like you might you might sense a certain relationship might exist 
or you might sense like, oh, you know, what am I actually looking at? Like, what, what am I, you know, uh, when you look at something, where should you change such that it gets a bit more information instead of just putting the, you know, the figure that you're asked, you'd be able to develop that kind of intuition when you have a certain um, strategy. Anyways, great, thanks. Um, so no one has put out, so Doug Maui, Doug Maui Johannes. Hello, Hi. can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, okay. Uh, for the time being, uh, I uh, usually has a lot of obstacles on the way, but we managed to. I managed to to put my work on the way uh, and deliver my uh, assignments. In that, adding to Martin's. Uh, Adding to Martin's comments, uh, I want to ask you for to recommend us about uh, how we can how how we can manage our time uh, for specifically for the given tasks. Hello. Hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you, uh, I said, if you can recommend us about time management and yeah. uh, everything. Okay. Um, definitely, it's you know, it's something that um, I'm not sure. Mary, like, do you want to comment? Is there any plan in the form of like some kind of training or some kind of talk in that area? Like, or if it's not planned, can that be planned in terms of how you know? including tools for time management, like very even simple and how, what are the best practices? Yeah, that's right. But uh, at the same time, we also uh, try to overload ourselves uh, with so many things. Uh, and uh, even though we had a plan, we, we, most, we mostly don't stick to it. So uh, I think it, it's better, uh, if you can recommend anything like a a book or something for us to 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 guide us through it. Yeah, great. So I'm asking Mary, who is in the like the manager in the community manager as well. So it's kind of is there a plan? Arun as well. If there is uh, if anyone from the Kerry team. I have the, I think uh, the career t careers team will probably take on that. Uh, we probably discuss. It's a great recommendation and request. Yeah. Um, we ha we'll have to talk with the careers team as well as Arun. Great. Yeah, because I think this this is a good suggestion. Thanks, Dagmar. And yeah. in principle, there are certain uh, tools as well as also kind of strategies um, how to check and balance. Uh, plans and execution of plans. So this might definitely help the general training as well. Kind of early, giving it early would also help. So thanks Dagmai for the suggestion. So Everest, you can, um, yeah, you can let us know tomorrow or so what is the plan. Okay, thank you. I'll keep an eye on it. Thanks. Aiden. Um, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, very clear. Okay, so yesterday I was able to finish and submit task one. And by doing that, I learned how to explore data using and graphical, graphical univariate, bivariate, and correlation analysis. And as for blockers, um, although I didn't have any technical problems, I was having a hard time because of the network and electricity issues. And I thought I would finish task two by now, but I'm a bit late but hopefully I'd be faster and finish task two and start task three by tomorrow. Thank you. Wonderful. Great. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Ken? Hello. Hello. So, so for me, so far, so good. I start with the block that I had a problem with. PCA, maybe somebody can explain to me just in... Can, can you get closer to the mic? 
We can hear you, but it would be better if you get if you speak louder. I was saying, yeah. I need a major broker on task one. I need somebody to explain to me in simple terms what we mean by C PCA analysis. Mm -hmm. I was having a problem with that. I even skipped that section. Okay, great. Uh, who is willing from the team here? Who's willing to talk to Ken and explain and, and discuss on PCA? Anyone? You can unmute. Is is that is the raising the hand for the call or so? Just you can also uh, you can also type in the message. But definitely, if not one of the tutors, you can reach out and they can help you with that. Yam, do you copy, Ken? I can hear him. Sorry? I was waiting for somebody to maybe respond. Yeah, but if not, just the tutors would, would, would reach out to you. Okay. okay so for also, the would, we, would we recommend you add the, that question to Slack so we can't exactly. forget it. Yeah, so write it in write it in Slack and as well um like the either the, the one of the trainees or the tutors will reach out to you. Okay. Yeah, go on. Your 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 voice is quite faint, so that's why it's easier sometimes to just uh, speak louder or closer. So concerning my progress. Yeah. Um, I'm done with task one, except that section for PCA. Yeah. Today I'll be finalizing on task two. So far, so good. Just Wonderful. that PCA was the blogger. Yeah. But I had another issue with my unit tests. I'll maybe upload a screenshot of the error I was getting. When I upload, I had set up a, a workflow on GitHub. I'm getting an error concerning how I imported my my scripts. So I'll also upload the error, maybe get some help in the course of the day. Wonderful, yeah. So absolutely, I think this is, you know, great that everything is going well other than the PCA and, the, you know, people would help. If you had also posted earlier, that would have been useful that you would get uh, help. You could also reach out directly to tutors sometimes when you have a blocker. So definitely start benefiting from the community of you know active, willing people. So great, awesome. Uh, so we have Stella, then we have Gaza Hines and Samuel, then Neron. But let's go Stella. Okay, good morning. Uh, for me, yesterday went well. However, um, towards the end, I had a power issue. We did have um, we had a blackout, so I I I really couldn't um submit my task in time. But early in the morning, I managed uh to get um electricity and and submit. Uh, I was also facing challenges uh on on the on the types of analysis i did not also understand the pca analysis and today i'm planning to work on unit testing and also work on my career challenges which are due tomorrow yeah okay awesome so from your side with regard to the the whole completion of the project is all do you do you feel you are on track Yeah, today I'm working on task two. Um, uh, I feel like I can manage and with the help from Slack, I think I'll do better um, to meet my, my objectives by Friday. Wonderful, awesome. Okay, 
So I think I have seen Gazain, your hand, and then we would go to Meron and then Abel. Gazain. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I think my mic is okay for today. Sorry? Do you hear me, everyone? Yes, we, we do hear you. Clearly. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, my yesterday was a little bit uh, uh, tough uh, with two things. Uh, the first challenge was uh, there was no electricity for almost eight hours. Uh, that was my uh, first challenge. Uh, after all, uh, I used some techniques and uh, try to complete my task one and uh, submit it on time. Uh, the other was I was a little bit uh, having a challenge to uh, with uh, understanding the uh, interim report contents, especially uh, what content I should include in slide seven. Uh, I was trying to uh, uh, have a little bit time-consuming time for uh, uh, slide seven contents. Actually, I made my decision. Uh, the main reason was I was having a lot of uh, uh, bivariate analysis graphs, uh, and the challenge was which uh, uh, plots or graphs I should uh, use for slide seven. It takes me uh, so much time. Uh, afterwards, I complete my task one, and uh, I submit my uh, deliverables on time. And uh, today, uh, I have planned to, to complete two things. The first uh, one is <clears throat> the technical part. I have already uh, goes up to 50%. So the second thing will be uh, starting uh, uh, task two. Uh, uh, it's, this is what I'm currently state on. Okay. Great. Awesome. Yeah, it's the power challenge is very affecting a lot, but yeah, that's reality we have to live in, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, keep trying to find different ways, such a way that you don't get blocked. Okay. Uh, mm. Yeah. Samuel, uh, Meron and Samuel. Meron. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so yesterday was uh, a tough day. Uh, as everybody mentioned, some of you have mentioned, I faced similar challenges as there was no power. And uh, I tried to work uh, until my laptop battery went out. I was in a good workflow. I feel like I've managed to do a lot of work yesterday than the days before. Uh, but also the power kind of got in my way, but I tried, I managed to submit the Git repo on time and, uh, I just in the morning work on the summary report since late, uh, since the light came in the morning and I think I submitted that late, better late than never. So, and now I'll be working on task, uh, the next task. Um, I think my next step would be prior strategizing on how I will be doing the next challenges. So that's about it. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. And definitely, I think, you know, one of the keywords I pick up here is just the strategizing. It's two days. If you just go on sometimes without really understanding how much you have come, you know, what part of the experience in the journey, like for example, the code that you have would help you today and tomorrow to finish it. And all that you might, it, it's sometimes, it's really just a, sometimes really um, taking one hour and, and feeling like, okay, you know, I'm gonna do this because I know I have done that. This would go there and there would be of course unknown challenge that I will have, including power, including that some things don't come. I might have also a bug in my code. I would probably spend this, but what, how am I going to do and divide and concur? For example, the dashboard that I need to build, you know, it's like, do, can I reuse some of my code before? Did I write it well? Should I write it in this way? So it's that one hour worth like in the paper or kind of without your computer thinking 
and then being able to kind of really work on them parallelly. If, for example, if some things are dependent on, I don't know, fast um, um, kind of like you could do a coffee place, or whatever, or you know, somewhere, uh, or some things that you need probably a very concentrated time. So being able to really arrange it will help you. And that experience would also just reward you like with a kind of satisfaction, which will double your amount of uh, throughput, right? So definitely, you know, don't forget to strategize. And that's intentionally why we put Wednesday as a check-in, right, as an entry report, so that you get to know, you know, to summarize what, it, what you have done and also what, you know, how you're gonna do the rest. So great. Um, Samuel, Samuel Alana. Okay, hello everyone. Good morning. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay, uh, it was uh, likely good for me. Uh, I'll uh, I have to submit it in time, and I guess the one major block was I wasn't getting the interpretation I guess I wanted, or I I feel it was wrong, and I asked on on Slack, and uh, I I got a good response. By the way, thank you. I didn't say thanks on Slack to Martin. I guess it, it was him. And uh, besides that, everything went uh, was good. Uh, I think more of the code is not uh, the challenge. I guess the challenge is more like, as Martin said, it was on the data and certainty. That should be the most time we take on and uh, interpretation of our findings. Because I, I got my findings, but I wasn't able to interpret at first. After some digging on the uh, internet, I guess uh, I had a better understanding of my fan uh, findings and I was able to submit the task on time. And uh, if I can, there's uh, to add Ken uh, about the PCA. Should mm -hmm. I explain? Can I go on? Yeah, go on, definitely. Yeah. Um, get, okay. Like after this call, just get together and definitely explain. And if there are more questions you can also um, reach out to tutors and you can write so definitely thanks so can you have Samuel uh, kindly offering like to to try to discuss the topic so get together okay. awesome thanks Abel hello guys can you hear hello. me yes we can hear you Okay, hello guys. Uh, yesterday, to update my progress, yesterday I started doing uh, on user engagement analysis and uh, I plan to finish this today and start satisfaction analysis as, as fast as possible. And because I think we have to do uh, dockerization, dockerize our code, building a dashboard and using uh, data version control, uh, including Zen and technical exercises. Uh, we have a uh, very short time so i have done dashboard in my school connection twitter project i think i will reuse and modify some of the code and uh, we have a very short time so i managed to do that as fast as possible great thank you. this is this is the type of thinking that you everyone i recommend in terms of like what do i have what resources do i have i think it's the realization of that what is in front of you sometimes is quite a lot if you want to do them well and so brainstorming quickly even just here like okay how am i gonna you know reuse whatever you probably are doing it but it's just good that we are reminded sometimes like that you know from the twitter project you have some of you have probably done uh, what should you do and and this time also we we are asking you to actually look into designing it just because last time maybe you have done it or you may not have done it but we shared two things and today also there will be a tutorial if I'm not mistaken, Anastasia would do that uh, on kind of, and we, I also shared two references on design on the challenge document at the end, you can see them. So it's just uh, a matter of like being able, just even in a paper, in a pencil and paper, just put it like, okay, how am I gonna structure my dashboard? Because I wanted this investor to be able to use it and so that they, they can get a certain idea out of it, right? It's not like I'm just gonna build a dashboard that just fulfills um, that for submission. It's about, you know, what kind of 
explore like what kind of features that I should give them within the capacity I have, of course. And then you can have also a design, which is a good design that implement only just a, a few parts of it. But we also require that you just think about design, like just so that everything, I think, you know, if you just by now you get the, the gist of it or the, the general picture, we want you to think before you do, because that's in work that really means you always will go into a sprint cycle or a, a certain form. And like if, you know, most people use these days agile framework. And then in that sprint cycle is the first part is that you plan, you break it down into stories, like what needs to be done. And a product team probably will also specify a guideline, what kind of product needs to be built. And then you will be in, in your team will be breaking it down that into a certain piece of tasks and stories. And then you would just consume that. And that's how it's done right now. We give you a very general big task and it's your part now to break it down. So you can consider us as, as a client or as a product team or as your basically boss, like in such a way that we give you a certain guideline, what to do. And then it's your task to break it down into pieces and reuse the previous things, plan your time accordingly so that you can submit on time. So I'm just repeating it so that it gets into your, into your head, into your way of thinking. So, um, yeah, thanks. Okay. So I also want, I think people are really raising hands. Great. I'm really loving it. I also want everyone like don't finish a week without speaking. I think that would be without raising your hand. I would say like a very simple metric for you, for everyone here to measure is like, if you haven't spoken in a week, you are, something is wrong. Like I, I clearly think that something is wrong. So please raise your hand if you haven't spoken in this week, either today or tomorrow, you must, you shall update because this is just practice run, right? You know, it's a very friendly environment. So just do it. Lydia. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Hope you can hear me well. Yeah. Yes, we do well. Uh, so things are going well still long. Mm. It takes time and it really needs good time management and proper planning, as it has been said before. Uh, when deciding on task priorities, both now and in the future. Uh, one of the challenges that I faced yesterday when working on the exploration and other things was that I had skills the data to give a scale when trying to reduce the dimension before exploration. And when I tried to do the exploration part, especially when trying to compare the social media applications and to drive some business insights, it was a bit hard because the data was already skilled and uh, it was hard to compare the data, uh, so I had to go back and load the semi-process data to get some important business insights from the social media applications. Uh, and today's plan is to work on the non-technical exercise, and I have already met with a peer from the trainees earlier today, and we discussed on the task on Google Meet, and I've planned to finish the rest of the exercise today, as well as to work on the rest of the technical exercise as well. Great. Well then, thanks. Tadisa. Hello, good morning. Morning. Uh, thank you. I hope uh, all of us are struggling on the yesterday. Just uh, on care assignment, I have seen something on preparing the CV issues during my that exercise in week zero. Uh, it is, uh, you know, that a sham post. Uh, Head and the Shoulders Shampoo Company uh, has one motto, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, you know. <clears throat> uh, if you see that one on the care, uh, on the CV preparation issues, that material. So I think every one of us are <clears throat> struggling just to make the first impression. So I like that word. And uh, for that matter, uh, as a blocker, what I have is from my side, if there is a possibility to uh, just share some resources uh, on uh, the things we do, uh, like, for example, when you see mean, medium, mood, quartile, and so on things, the resource which relate the Python issues with that one, for example, what it mean by? 
by mode and the median of a data when we process the data by using Python and the quartile and the rest of plot also. Uh, I know the technical one has, has a good uh, reference uh, on the week one challenge, but if there is a possibility to share such resources, I'm very happy. And uh, today, as uh, Edidia and as uh, Abel also said, uh, I am planning to work on uh, non-technical and uh, both technical parallelly. Maybe for technical, uh, I, I, I have done some of the coding issues, but uh, you, I should have to digest till uh, user engagement. I have done in a, digi in a digestive way, but today I will going to do in a good way and uh, I need, I try to interpret it, but what uh, may, uh, what challenges me till today is just how I uh, report my technical issues just by having the knowledge of those uh, technical things in a elaborative way or in a descriptive way to do so uh, if someone has some ideas on uh, statistical analysis and another thing is you know i need to communicate some on slack also if any we link so thank you for great. even giving me the chance great yeah definitely you know the slack is there definitely we can't always provide detail um references but sure that's why the community is definitely people share you know your findings and i know that people are sharing when they find also good resources where they think the community would be helped so definitely yeah like let's just put it there and let's make it active and by asking question is exactly that if someone asks question other people would answer and it will help everyone so definitely that does uh, encourage you to post like you know who you know kind of asking exactly what you're asked now you know, related to it could be the project, you know, how should we understand this? What is the statistical concept of that? And things like that, just sharing, sharing it in Slack would really benefit not only you, but the community. Thanks, Henok. Hi, uh, I hope everyone is doing okay. So, yeah, uh, I've been, uh, I've been doing good so far. Like I, I, I don't have any blockers, but like it's nice, like uh, seeing where my technical gaps uh, lie. Like I, I was having some some issues, like interpreting some of the plots I was uh, getting, but then going back and uh, understanding the underlying statistical concepts helped me a lot, and. Uh, I submitted my interim report on time, but yeah, uh, like uh, the interpretation of the plots and general understanding of the data was a bit challenging for me. But yeah, as Diaby said, this is uh, an, an exercise, so I hope I get better at it uh, uh, with time. And my plan for today and uh, today is to get started on the career challenge and also uh, understand like understand task to and uh, get some uh, code working for that and one thing i want to mention is i discovered a code uh, a visual studio code plugin that allows to run uh, jupyter code inside visual studio, visual studio code like uh, that's nice like having that inside my code editor without switching to a browser to access Jupyter uh, lab has like helped me with my workflow yeah and thank you great yeah i mean code the visual code has so many things to explore definitely i encourage everyone if you are using it to including you know to get good at it because i think nowadays it's the most dominant editor uh, for a good reason Thanks, uh, Brooke. Brooke Getana. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we hear you. Okay. Um, yesterday was um, a tough day. 
as uh, most of my friends uh, said before. Um, I think what takes most of the time was this understanding and pre-processing. Sometimes uh, you thought you have done enough on this pre-processing and understanding, but after a while, uh, you, you may realize that uh, you have not do something else. So uh, I have tried to uh, process the data in uh, a very good way. And uh, what I want to really uh, say about reference is the reference links that, that you shared us with the challenge document was very, very helpful. And uh, also the Slack community uh, provides many useful references. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, regarding uh, blockers, well, I, I can say no, no blockers I, I faced yesterday, but as a challenge uh, on Bivorin. No. Did we lose Brooke? Yeah, maybe. So, Brooke, when you come in, just you can tell us. So we can go to Remet. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. So I did uh, submit uh, GitHub repo and the uh, presentation on time, but I still have uh, struggled with uh, the techni my technical gaps that I found in myself. Especially interpreting the data that I get, I then submitted it anyway, hoping that I'll pick um, some of the tasks that I need to uh, do today in the challenge that I'm going with task two. So Great. This is my Great. Yeah. So hopefully you are also using the task com like the Slack community for your advantage. Yeah. I yeah, I'm using it. Not Great. enough, but yes. Yeah, know that when you ask questions, it's not only for you, it will help others. So it's a contribution. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to change that about myself. I'm trying to engage more. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Binyam. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay, thank you, Yabuad, and good morning, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> to give you an update on my progress so far, yesterday was actually a better day for me. I have done a lot yesterday, but the day before yesterday was a bit challenging because I was uh, struggling with power issues. As a result, my progress was a bit retarded. I am currently working on the second uh, task which is user engagement analysis. Uh, it's it's actually uh, a little easier than the previous task because previ on the previous task I had to uh, figure out uh, the meaning of the data. Uh, I, I, I didn't have any previous familiarity with uh, telecom related data so I was struggling to understand the features and that took me a while but gradually I, I've, I've come to grip with it uh, in the in general i've learned a lot especially uh, uh, in pca pc was a completely new concept for me and uh, i'm there i'm still learning how to use it and apply it in different scenarios uh, also, I didn't used to uh, apply box plot before, so I'll, I've learned that as well. So basically, that's where I stand right now. And thank you uh, to the community because and they they have helped me, they have helped me a lot. So that's it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Binyam. Uh, Fade. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Yeah, thanks for, for the opportunity. Um, 
yesterday was um was good but also a, a bit challenging for me because um i i have been working on um other stuff that are not um necessarily related to um that uh, presentation slide uh, we had to submit so i i found myself um kind of uh, lagging behind uh, so i had to to hurry up to meet the deadline but uh, i was able to and uh, hopefully um, other analysis and other findings um, we make my um, final report a bit better so <clears throat> But because of that, um, I wasn't able to finish like a PCA in task one. Uh, so that's what I'm going to work on today. And um, also at the same time working on um, task two. Um, so far uh, I managed to do like the first part, but um, now uh, I'm working on uh, clustering. Uh, but uh, uh, speaking of clustering, I have a question there and uh, I think uh, it's it's also on Slack. So um, my question is, uh, uh, he says we should uh, make uh, three clusters for uh, metrics, like um, user metrics, a number of sessions, um, uh, total data used, and also what's the, the third metric? Um, so those are three metrics, and uh, my uh, my question is, um, yeah, uh, the third metric is uh, duration of the session. So my question is, uh, are we clustering uh, like one uh, variable at a time? For example, do we want to see uh, three uh, clusters in uh, duration, uh, or we might make like some, um, scatter plot like for example session versus uh, duration because um, I, I don't understand how we will make yeah. clusters so, or uh, one variable if yeah. we can no, I, I think it's, it's just to answer just to also save time no it's it's like clusters are done in n dimensions right so in this case it's asking you to do in in the three dimension do k means clustering and get like three clusters and then you measure the property of that cluster. So, but usually these metrics are just basically means dimensions. So it, it's going to be like one cluster that is, that you would find along, like when you plot it in these three dimensions, right? Um, okay. So usually what, you know, the clustering, what do you, you know, like you can ask it if it just, what do you want to do? It's to find out the the kind of users that have a similar of a certain property. And you can do clustering at 50 dimensions. Of course, that would be very hard. Uh, you can do it at, you know, like the 10 dimensions or that. But within that dimension, within that correlated dimension, you want to be able to find out, you know, how many clusters are there who basically share by cluster means who basically share similar things, right? So it's in this case, it's, it's asking you three dimensions. Uh, yeah, thank you. But uh, are we making like those uh, three clusters on uh, one metric, like just one? No, 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 no. A cluster is not, is, is, is not, a cluster is basically just like, if you plot in a, if you were not to do it in K-means, you would basically by hand, you would plot them in scatter plots and then you put all of, points that are closer to each other to be one cluster. And then you go in the same dimension, the kind of you look at another's that are closer, you will put them like, okay, you'll call them second cluster. And then another one, maybe third cluster, fourth cluster, fifth cluster, n clusters. So of course mm -hmm. the data itself is, if you have a uh, hundred rows, it is basically, you can consider it as each point, each row as, as a cluster and you can say, there are 100 clusters, right? Because each point can be a cluster in its own. But mm -hmm. in this case, you want to reduce from 100 row to basically three. So that means you group points together that are closer in this dimension as, you know, and then you call them cluster one, cluster two, cluster three. You have done very similar in topic modeling. Yeah. 
exactly yeah thank thank you uh, yeah that answers my question and uh, so I, I we need to put in uh, a lot more effort because now i'm uh, on task two uh, two remainings and report yeah so hopefully i'll be able to manage uh, in the remaining days and yeah I'll finish the report thanks great thanks Faith. so we of course are running out of time but i am very grateful that few people that i haven't seen in the week speaking are raising their hands, so I would give for the three, and then we conclude with that. Uh, Olufemi, Tasfai, and Salam. Olufemi. Okay, um, I hope you can hear me. Yes, we, we hear you clearly. Okay, um, for uh, last, yesterday, uh, I had issues with, uh, with light. There was no light, so I had to struggle to go to a hub where there is light so I could walk. And then uh, because of the issue, I was, I submitted late around 9, uh, 9.59, if I can guess right, I think 9.58 or so, meaning one minute for the submission time. So that was when I was um, able to submit and hopefully today um, I will be expecting light so I can uh, start my, uh, my, uh, task two and hopefully do task three because uh, I can see that uh, both the two are quite very similar. It's just that they have different features and different columns that they are working of, working for or working about. So um, probably hopefully today if there is light, I would be able to do task two and three. Then tomorrow, I would round it up with building my dashboard. Great, awesome. That's. Good to hear. That's fine. Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. So first time I'm here. Uh, so this week's challenge seems a little bit easier of some kind because uh, it looks similar with the week zero because we, on week zero we didn't know uh, anything about the stuff that we are going to do, but now uh, we have some kind of idea on uh, what we are going to do. And if it continues like this on week two, three, and four, that will be good because uh, it will it will just add some uh, uh, models, some modeling techniques, some uh, algorithms, extraction algorithms, reporting algorithms, and analysis algorithms, uh, and also other techniques that are useful for us. Uh, but uh, on yesterday's uh, work i have completed my submission for both uh, the interim report and uh, github link uh, parts in time uh, it, it was a little bit hard because uh, i couldn't get my head around uh, the pcas pca is the principal uh, analysis uh, part of the, uh, the task because uh, it was, I think there is, there is nothing mentioned on the documents that we were given and I could only found one. Actually, some some the, some guy found it on uh, the web and published it on uh, Slack community. It helped, but uh, I, I still I couldn't get around it. So if, you, if I can get a little help on that, it would be good. Uh, but for today and tomorrow, I'm planning to finish the user engagement analysis today plus the one of the career uh, challenges and tomorrow as well. So yeah, that's my progress. Great, thank you Tasfai. Also just, you know, uh, taking the call in terms of like speaking today, just uh, that's great. And I, I, I think most people are speaking and definitely if anyone again hasn't spoken, like I see for example here, I don't know if you have spoken, uh, Ms. Abakira, also, if you have spoken or not, but those people, just raise your hand, like, let it be this week, not pass without you speaking. So I would really, really encourage everyone to do it so that then it feels good. You become part of the community. The more we speak this in the stand up, the more we belong to. So that's why we are encouraging. And then if we all speak in the first week, then the other weeks will be just, you know, uh, no one should remind you to do it. So Salam. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, uh, slightly far, but we can hear you. Uh, okay, what about now? Now is much better. Uh, we 
will uh, uh, on Monday I managed to do most of uh, task one, uh, the technical part. Uh, but yesterday I had a little struggle because uh, I had some connectivity issues, so I wasn't able to finish uh, some portion on uh, task 1.2 on my uh, on the on the script I was writing, and uh, I struggled on that. But uh, I did something uh, else. That was. Uh, the report, I was writing the report because uh, I have connectivity issues and I was just focusing on that. And later on, after I submitted my GitHub link and uh, my report, um, the connectivity uh, was back to normal and I managed uh, to complete task one. And now I'm currently working on task two on the user engagement analysis. And it's good to listen to all these uh, people because everyone is struggling in their own way and uh, it's just all about it all comes down to um, strategizing as earlier said and doing what we can thanks wonderful awesome thanks salam and again thank you everyone who speak who is the first time to speak and those also who just keeps constantly updating us that's great and tomorrow definitely those people who haven't spoken you know raise your hand just be you know get used to it and um, we're gonna be here for 12 weeks and we it should just be nice all of us to feel home so definitely uh, great so uh, anastasia is the so what time is the tutorial just uh, want to know if it is in the afternoon or now the tutorial will be in the afternoon, 1 p.m. UTC. Okay, great. In that case, what I'm going to do now is that we can close the um, we can close the recording. But those people who want to ask anything regarding statistical things, 